Wow, guys, what J.D. Vance did to Dana Bash was insane. Check this out. Reviewed 11 months of 911 calls. They only identified two instances of people alleging Haitians were taking geese out of parks. They found zero evidence to substantiate those claims. Uh, also, other evidence that you have talked about, even you retweeted alleged, alleged evidence, are unsourced social media videos from a different city, apparently no connection to Haitians. And this is from a conservative activist who offered a $5,000 reward for such things. And then going just back to the schools and the hospitals and, the, and, and so forth being overwhelmed, nobody is disputing that the, that the town of Springfield, Ohio, needs help. But you're not just a bystander. You're the senator from Ohio. So instead of saying things that are, are wrong and actually causing the hospitals, the schools, the government buildings to be evacuated because of bomb threats, because of the cats and dogs uh, thing, why not actually be constructive in helping to better integrate them into the community? Because there are a lot of employers there who say that the Haitian workers are helping fill jobs that they need desperately filled. Dana, first of all, let me just respond to, to a couple of things that you said. But I want to start with something you said, which I think is frankly disgusting and is more appropriate for a Democratic propagandist than it is for an American journalist. There is nothing that I have said that has led to threats against these hospitals. These hospitals, the bomb threats and so forth, it's disgusting. The violence is disgusting. We condemn it. We condemn all violence. Senator, and this happened after you and but President say, Trump no, 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 were, Dana, on no, the, Dana, were on the to debate say, stage, said Dana, that no, cats and dogs you were asked, being you, eaten. You asked a question, Dana, and, and I'm going to go ahead and answer it. What after we that, said, they were threatened. What we have said is that this town has suffered terribly under the, pro, under the policies of Kamala Harris. Now, you just accused accused me of inciting violence against the community when all that I've done is surface the complaints of my constituents, people who are suffering because of Kamala Harris's policies. Are we not allowed to talk about these problems because some psychopaths are threatening violence? We can condemn the violence on the one hand, but also talk about the terrible consequences of Kamala Harris's open border on the other hand. Now, let me just fact check a couple of other things that you said, Danny, because it's important. You said that all of these migrants are in the country legally. They are in the country through what's called temporary protective status. Right. That is when Kamala Harris waved a magic amnesty wand taking people and giving them legal status. That is not a that is not to say that they're here legally. That is a terrible indictment of her amnesty policies that have further opened the but border not, and further but it's caused not illegal. terrible you might, migration you into might this be, country. You might not agree with the policy, and obviously you don't, which is totally fair and legitimate. There are policy disagreements all the time. But the fact is, it, it, it is the law because uh, no, President Dana, Biden... The point is... So the thing is, there's they they suppress the law so much to you that you don't know what it's affecting you. Kamala Harris is getting away with something that's so detrimental to our economy that people don't even realize it. You're letting all these these illegals come in, and the taxpayers have to pay for it. Do you know how much money we lost while her and Joe Biden were in office because of taxpayers? I want you guys to do some research on that. We lost so much money. Inflation happened. They took jobs. They, they are over there eating cats and dogs. There's graphic videos that you can find online. I'm not going to tell you where to find them because I can get in trouble for that. But there's videos online of these people doing that. There's, there's, there's videos online of the, these people in ponds, neighborhood ponds, in front of kids doing this type of stuff. That's, that, that's the bigger problem here, and that's what people aren't focused on. Let's keep this video going, guys. Let's keep this video going. Vice yeah. President Harris. Are, but, I, but I don't want to get, I don't want to, frankly, go down... Uh, uh, this conversation about no, no, about no, policy Dana, because I, I, because I, you, no. you, you, ma you you made a point you don't I, I I agree you don't want to talk about policy no Dana, what I want to talk about, about what I want to talk about instead of about the fact senator that it was Harris, your distraction Dana, granted amnesty you were the one who started talking about eating dogs and cats level. 
You were the one who Dana, brought this my up. Constituents the president were the said it to 60 talked about eating million dog and people. Cats, and I talked about it because you were ignoring this community. My constituents talked about Have it. Have you been it is to my Springfield? responsibility to surface their concerns when the American media Have you been to Springfield? It. Dana, I've been to Springfield oh, probably a hundred times in my life. How about I've recently taken my children since to get you've heard ice this? cream at Young's Jersey Dairy. Have you heard recently since have, you've, have you've gotten been these last, calls? Have I been in the last four days? No, no I'm I talking haven't been about in the last four days, but I've since talked you've to a lot of people in Springfield, from the Dana, and they're telling me this stuff is happening. Dana, would you like to ask me questions and then let me answer them, or would you like to debate me uh, on, on these topics? I noticed that when you had Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz, you gave them multiple choice answers to the questions that you asked, and you allowed them to answer the questions. I'm happy to hear to be here to talk about policy, but if you're going to interrupt me every single time that I open my mouth, then why am I even doing this? So please ask a question, and I'd ask you to be polite enough to yes. let me answer it. Yes, I, I am, and I think that uh, if Kamala Harris and Tim Walls were making unsubstantiated claims that had racist undertones about uh, people eating dogs and cats, I would, and they didn't answer the questions about that, then I would have similar uh, interactions with them. As you know, I... I am very grateful that you come on the show as that's obviously a lie. Watch this. But he said last month he suggested that you happened to turn black recently for political purposes, mm -hmm. questioning a core part of your identity. Yeah. Any same old tired playbook. Next question, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Guys, it's funny how I just go pull up that quick clip and show you guys that that's not the same energy she has toward Democrats. It's obvious what these media outlets are trying to push. The headline of this is has an interview with CNN's Dana Bash. It's not an interview. They're simply just debating. She doesn't know how to interview anybody that does that doesn't agree with her. So let's keep going, guys. Let's finish this video out. No, I I am very grateful that you come on the show as I am for other Republicans. But this is something that I you're hearing from constituents. I did a lot of reporting. I talked to people in Ohio over the weekend, and they're really worried about these claims. The policies, yes, I am, I am agreeing with you that what I heard is that there is concern that these migrants, there's a lot of them, and the integration isn't being done fast enough and well enough. And that's a totally legitimate conversation. But there are other conversations that are happening. Aiden Clark, who is uh, the, uh, an 11-year-old boy, who was killed in Springfield last year. It was a car accident involving a Haitian immigrant. Um, you said that he was murdered. His father said that's not true. It was an accident. Here's what he said to you. Politicians, Bernie Moreno, Chip Roy, J.D. Vance, and Donald Trump, they have spoken my son's name and used his death for political gain. This needs to stop now. They are not allowed nor have they ever been allowed to mention Aiden Clark from Springfield, Ohio. I will listen to them one more time to hear their apologies. Senator, he's asking for you to apologize. Will you? Dana, first of all, my heart goes out to the Clark family, and I don't bring their son's name up because they've clearly expressed a preference for politicians to not bring their son's name up. Uh, I wish them all the best. I can't believe what kind of a tragedy they've experienced, but I'm still going to keep on talking about what the migrants have done to Springfield, Ohio, and what Kamala Harris's open border has done to Springfield, Ohio. And Dana, I, I think this illustrates the entire contrast between how we're trying to go about this debate and how a lot of the Democrats are trying to go about this debate. They're talking about 12 Proud Boys marching in Springfield, Ohio. They're talking about the, the, the frankly, fake debunkings of a lot of these stories that are out there. I'm talking to my constituents and I'm hearing terrible things about what's going on in Springfield and Kamala Harris's open border policies have caused these problems. The hospitals are overwhelmed, Anna. The schools are overwhelmed. The local services are completely overwhelmed. You have people who can't afford housing. Homelessness has gone up. Murders are up by 81% because of what Kamala Harris has allowed to happen to this small community. I'm going to keep on talking about that. Now, of course, we can criticize violence. We can also still talk about the problems that are happening in Springfield. And we should be able to do both those things simultaneously, Dana. 
Dana would not be happy. She would not be happy if they dropped the immigrants off in her upscale neighborhood. She just wouldn't be happy. You're not going to sit here and try to confuse me and make you make me think you want what's best. You you really don't. Because if you want what's best, you'll be over there trying to help. Or you would do some digging to see if it's true. You would. But whenever she has a Republican on there, she wants to turn it into a, a, a prosecutor. But then when uh there, there there's a Democrat, you're defending whatever they that they preach. And somehow that's okay. And somehow that's okay. I don't know why they are so comfortable with putting this stuff in the media and they want us to believe it. You know, we're going to end the video up here. I got a lot of more stuff I'm posting today. So like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, let me know what to react to. We're out.